Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to weld in the flat position. We're gonna be doing some surface welds and I'm gonna be demonstrating a few different techniques that can get the job done. Now, which technique you end up going with? Often it can be personal preference, whatever works out for you. This is just a beginner course, so I don't wanna to get too far into the varying techniques. Just find one that is easy for you to do and let's just stick with that so that way as you learn and hone your skills with gas metal arc welding we can work on the basics work on the foundations and then we'll try something more advanced later down the road what i have with me right now in my hands is the mig gun and the trigger on this mig gun is yellow so you can see it pretty well the welding machine is on so watch as i push the trigger the electrodes are going to come out of the mig gun this is also where we get introduced to two brand new tools. One of them is called the welding pliers or MIG pliers. It goes by several different names. But if you can't get your hands on a pair of MIG pliers, needle nose pliers will suffice. And we use either of the two to uh, trim the wire electrode, but then to also pull the slack out of the cable. So not only can we use either to trim the electrode, we can also use them to clean the tip of the nozzle. However, the MIG pliers have two sets of jaws. This bigger set of jaws can be used to remove the nozzle in case you need to replace a consumable or clean it. And here we can see the diffuser, the contact tip, and of course the electrode. And now the smaller set of jaws on the MIG pliers can be used to remove the contact tip. Now when replacing the contact tip, it's important not to over tight it. You want to just hand tighten. So to get us started, I've got this piece of mild steel. All we're going to do for the first couple welds is drag the weld straight across. This is what's called stringer beads. Some people say it's better to push the weld in GMAW, but because we're just learning the basics, we're going to drag the weld for now. And if you're worried that you might not be able to make a straight weld, don't worry. Grab yourself some soapstone and draw some lines on the piece of metal. That way you can use it as reference while you're welding. And like with every other welding process, make sure you have the appropriate welding gloves. Make sure you have a wire brush. Make sure that you either have a pair of pliers or vice grips. That way you can handle the hot metal. And then grab yourself a pair of needle nose pliers. Or if they're available, grab the MIG pliers. Okay, let me get my welding jacket on and we'll get started. And real quick, before I get into welding, I just want to give you a look at what my settings are. My voltage is 20.5. My wire feed speed is 285. The electrode that I'm running is ER70S-6, and I'm running an O35 diameter wire. Normally when I'm welding using GMAW with short circuit transfer, which is what we're doing here, I like my stick out to be really short. Now stick out is the length of wired electrode that extends from the contact tip to the welding arc. In this video, my stick out is gonna be a little bit longer and that's just so the camera can get a good view of the welding arc, the welding electrode, and the nozzle, or more or less the welding gun. That way you get a good idea of what I'm doing. And here I'm just finding a position that I can be comfortable in, that way I can start and finish the weld without having to stop and reposition.
Now here I'm just showing you that for the first two welds, I'm simply going to be dragging the weld straight across, essentially making stringer beads. Later on in the video, I'm also going to show you a technique that's called uh, the Curse of E, and then also a Crescent Moon. Now here's where I'm going to start changing my technique for the next two welds. I'm going to start oscillating in a form that's called the Curse of E. Okay, so just one more time. Those last two welds were done with the Curse of E oscillation, and these next two welds are going to be done with a crescent moon shape or uh, in a sea weave pattern.
Okay, and for this last weld, I'm going to do sort of a whip it method. This is more of an advanced technique, but it is out there, so let's go ahead and introduce this to you. So basically, I'm just going to whip a little forward in the weld, and then I'm going to backtrack to fill in. Whip forward a little bit, and then backtrack to fill it in. And here's a view at those same welds that I just made starting with the stringer bead except from a different angle. Alright, and that's it for surface welds. I hope this video gave you the tools and information that you need to get started in the weld shop, so let's go ahead and get to it.